Welcome to Investigating the Universe, your ultimate guide to unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. Today, we're peeling back the layers of one of the most intriguing concepts in theoretical physics, singularities. Picture this. You're venturing into the heart of a black hole where all known laws of physics crumble. You're faced with a point of infinite density and zero volume, a place where space and time curve infinitely. This is what scientists call a singularity. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, these singularities are theoretically thought to exist at the core of black holes, making them fascinating and mind-boggling subjects of study. Now, let's take a step back about 13.8 billion years to the moment our universe sprang into existence. The Big Bang Theory posits that the universe began as a singularity, an infinitely small and dense point from which everything we know and don't know exploded into being. Singularities, therefore, play a pivotal role in our understanding of the universe's origins and its most extreme objects, black holes. However, singularities present paradoxes that challenge our comprehension of the cosmos. They're places where our mathematical equations break down and our understanding of physics reaches its limits. We're left with questions that seem unanswerable and theories that appear incompatible. For instance, singularities with their infinite densities and zero volumes defy the quantum mechanical principle that nothing can be infinitely precise. This clash between general relativity and quantum mechanics, two of the pillars of modern physics, has been a long-standing conundrum in the scientific community. But what if these mind-bending singularities did not exist? What would that mean for our understanding of the universe? Let's delve into the realm of black holes where singularities are believed to reside. In the heart of a black hole, we find a point known as a singularity. This is where matter is thought to be crushed to infinite density. The gravitational field becomes infinite and space-time curves infinitely and where the laws of physics as we know them cease to function. And here we encounter a conundrum known as the black hole information paradox. This paradox arises from the conflict between two fundamental theories quantum mechanics, which states that information can never be lost, and general relativity, which predicts that information does get lost in a black hole. If we throw a book into a black hole, according to quantum mechanics, the information in that book is not lost, but according to general relativity, it is lost forever. This is the crux of the black hole information paradox. The existence of singularities only deepens this paradox. If singularities are real and all the information that enters a black hole is crushed out of existence at the singularity, then we are in direct contradiction with quantum mechanics. However, a twist came into this story with the introduction of Hawking radiation. Proposed by physicist Stephen Hawking, it suggested that black holes can slowly lose energy or evaporate by emitting particles, a process that could eventually lead to the black hole's disappearance. If a black hole can evaporate, then what happens to the information it contained? Does it vanish, violating quantum mechanics? Or is it somehow released, challenging our understanding of singularities? This conundrum has led some scientists to question the existence of singularities. If singularities don't exist, then information isn't crushed out of existence in a black hole and we could potentially resolve this paradox. Could the resolution of the information paradox then lie in the non-existence of singularities? From black holes, we now journey back to the birth of the universe itself. If singularities don't exist, then we must reconsider the very foundation of the Big Bang Theory. This is because the Big Bang Theory hinges on the existence of a singularity at the inception of the universe. So, without singularities, we're left with a significant question. How did the universe come into existence? To answer this, we have to entertain alternative theories, ones that don't require a singularity. One such theory is the Big Bounce Theory. This theory suggests that our universe is just the latest in a series of universes. Each universe expands, then contracts under its own gravity and finally bounces back into a new cycle of expansion. This bouncing motion negates the need for a singularity as there is never a point of infinite density, just a constant cycle of expansion and contraction. Another theory that bypasses the need for a singularity is the cyclic model of the universe. This model proposes that the universe goes through repeated cycles of expansion and contraction, 
with no definitive beginning or end. Each cycle, or eon, is set into motion by the collapse of the previous one, avoiding the necessity of a singularity to trigger the birth of a new universe. Both of these theories, the Big Bounce and the Cyclic Model, provide intriguing answers to what could have happened before the Big Bang. They challenge the traditional view of the universe's origin and open up a fascinating realm of possibilities. Could our universe be just one chapter in an infinite cosmic story that has no beginning or end? So, if singularities do not exist, the Big Bang might not be the beginning of everything but rather a transition, a transformation from one cosmic eon to the next. Could our universe then be just one in a series of infinite universes born, not from a singularity but from the ashes of a previous universe? Now let's enter the quantum realm, where the laws of physics as we know them start to break down. Picture for a moment the world of quantum gravity. This is a realm where the theories of quantum mechanics and general relativity intertwine. And it's here where some scientists believe we might find the answers to the riddle of singularities. Two of the most prominent theories in quantum gravity are string theory and loop quantum gravity. These theories, while distinct in their approach, share a common goal, to reconcile the seemingly incompatible laws of quantum mechanics and general relativity, and in the process, do away with the troublesome concept of singularities. Let's start with string theory. Instead of seeing the universe as composed of tiny, point-like particles, string theory proposes that everything is made up of minuscule, vibrating strings. These strings vibrate at different frequencies, and it's these vibrations that give particles their unique properties. In the world of string theory, singularities don't exist. Instead, the intense gravity of a black hole is the result of strings vibrating at incredibly high frequencies. On the other hand, we have loop quantum gravity. This theory proposes that space and time are not continuous, but rather are composed of discrete, loop-like structures. When applied to the concept of a black hole, loop quantum gravity suggests that the singularity at the center is actually a gateway to another universe. Again, no singularity, just a quantum bridge to somewhere else. These theories, while still unproven, offer fascinating insights into the nature of our universe and the possible absence of singularities. They represent our best attempts so far to unify the world of the very large general relativity with the world of the very small quantum mechanics. Could the key to understanding our universe then lie in the quantum realm far from the singularities? Perhaps. Only time and more research will tell. But one thing's for sure. The quantum realm is a strange and wonderful place, and it's here where our understanding of the universe is being rewritten. So what if singularities do not exist? What would that mean for our understanding of the universe? Let's delve into this thought and summarize our journey so far. We started with singularities, those mysterious points where gravity becomes infinite, and space and time cease to have any meaning. They're the enigmatic heart of black holes and, according to the Big Bang Theory, the birthplace of our universe. But they're also sources of paradoxes and conundrums that challenge our understanding of the laws of physics. We tackled the black hole information paradox, a puzzling problem that arises from the clash between quantum mechanics and general relativity. If singularities didn't exist, then perhaps information isn't lost in black holes after all. The absence of singularities might even resolve this paradox, allowing us to reconcile these two fundamental pillars of modern physics. Next, we explored alternative theories to the Big Bang that don't involve singularities, from the bouncing cosmologies where our universe is just the latest in a series of expansions and contractions, to the eternal inflation model where our universe is one of countless bubbles in a constantly inflating cosmic foam. Singularities are not a necessity for the birth of a universe. Lastly, we looked at the universe from a quantum gravity perspective. This approach, which aims to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity, might just do away with singularities entirely. Quantum gravity could paint a picture of a universe where the bizarre infinities of singularities are replaced by something more manageable and less paradoxical. As we continue to investigate the universe, we may one day find that the answer to its mysteries lies not in the existence of singularities but in their absence. Don't forget to subscribe to Investigating the Universe and share this video if you found it intriguing. Until next time, keep looking up and questioning everything.